Over 80% of individuals involved in gangs are young people, so says Inspector Michelle Lewis of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Stark reality about it is that most of the gang members are young persons under the age of 18. Even though you may see no persons over the age of 18 um, dying as a result of gang violence, they would have been in it prior. And so they're in gang violence for a while. Inspector Lewis says young people are generally more impressionable, which is the main reason why they are usually targeted. So they are an easy target for persons who are more knowledge knowledgeable than they are, who could manipulate them mentally and to coerce them into activities because of the fact that children are of course minors um, mentally not as developed as they ought to be and that she says young people also join gangs to feel a sense of belonging so young people minors children as sometimes adults do as well look for security look for um, feeling of belonging that if they're not getting it in the primary places as their home with their families, they look for it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Inspector Lewis is therefore urging parents to play a more active role in their children's lives. It's important that parents play their role in the development of their children's lives. That is crucial because once a child does not feel a sense of belonging and protection from the main primary source of care, which is their household and their family, mm -hmm. then we end up in problems. Unfortunately, we have where some of the very family members are also involved in gang activities, mm -hmm. so that the environment in itself, a child, is not even a safe one. The inspector's comments follow Saturday's quadruple murder in Kokorit, which is believed to be a result of gang activity.